Does anyone else like making friendship bracelets so much that they don't want to give them away and just end up keeping them for themselves? Or maybe I just do it to make it look like I have more friends. Hey everyone, it's Hannah and today I have a friendship bracelet tutorial for you. I still haven't found the notebook with the list of requests in but I decided to just go back through the video and write them all down again. And no doubt I will now find that notebook because I've had to do the extra work. But I'm showing you how to make this friendship bracelet today, or this one if you're going by what was in the video. I'll pop a number on the screen somewhere now because I can't remember what the pattern number is. But the link is in the description box below so if you click on that it will take you to the pattern and so you can follow the pattern whilst you're watching this video and everything is well in the world. Anyway, that is enough waffling from me, so let's just get on with the video, shall we? Firstly, I'd like to apologise for any noise that you may hear in the background. This is the only day that I can film, and somebody seems to be having some work done on their flat, so you might hear the odd banging, which is really annoying, but one of those things. Anyway, so to start with, you're going to need four different colours of thread. Two of those colours you are going to need to cut to one metre strands, or if you're me and you're having a button closure, then you are going to need two two metre strands. And then for the other two colours, you are going to need four one metre strands, or once again, if you're doubling it over, you're going to need two two metre strands of each colour. So, for example, I've got navy blue, I've got four strands of navy blue, four strands of turquoise, two strands of white, two strands of grey. And like I said, I folded them in half and made a loop at the top that is large enough for me to fit the button that I've chosen through. You can also plait the ends of this bracelet if you prefer, that's what I've done on this one here. That also works well, but I like having button closures where I can. So you are going to lay them out with, as shown here, doo -doo 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 -doo. I've popped a link in the description box below to the pattern so you can look at the pattern while you're following along with this video. I just have it up on my phone and it's pattern number 1869. It's very pretty. So yes, this is the order that you need to lay out your threads in. So we are going to start doing a forward knot using the furthest left thread over the one next to it. Then going on to the next thread, which for me is turquoise. Going over this navy blue, I'm also going to tie two forward knots. And put that one down. And then using grey over turquoise, I'm going to tie two forward knots as well. And then I'm going to mirror that, so I'm going to now be doing backwards knots. So using the grey over the turquoise, I'm going to be doing backwards knots. And then using the turquoise thread, I'm going to do backward knot. And place that down. And then with the final thread, I'm going to do a backward knot over the white. Now, my threads are a bit messed up, so I'm just going to put them in the right order again. Obviously, you don't have to rearrange them each time if you're keeping up, but for video purposes, I'm going to. Okay, so for the next row, I'm knotting the two navy blue threads together. So I'm just going to tie a forward knot of them together. Although it doesn't ultimately matter as they are the same colour. I'm now going to knot my two turquoise threads together, also in a forward knot. And now my two grey together in a forward knot. Sweep them off to the side. And then knot my two turquoise together. And then the two navy blue. So your threads should be, if you kept them nice and neat, in the same place as they were on the last row. By that I mean the colour of threads, obviously threads have swapped places, but the colours of threads should be in the same order as they were on the last row. So we've got groups of two and then the white on the very outside. And now I'm going to be doing a backwards knot of my navy thread over the white. And then I've got my turquoise thread over the next navy in a backwards knot. My grey thread 
is going to be going over my turquoise thread in a backwards knot. And then mirroring on the other side, so I'm going to be doing forwards knots, so grey over turquoise. Turquoise over navy blue. And then navy over white. Okay, so for this next one, we are not knotting the navy threads and we are going to knot the turquoise thread over the white in a backwards knot. And then the grey over the navy. And then knotting the two turquoise together. And the grey over the navy. And the turquoise over the white. Now I'm knotting the turquoise over the navy again. Then the grey over the white. Now we're taking the navy blue and we're tying a forwards knot over the turquoise. So forwards knots always go to the right and backwards knots always go to the left. So it's a forward knot. And then on the other side we are mirroring it so I'm going to be doing a backwards knot of navy over turquoise. And grey over white and turquoise over navy. So on this round we're not knotting with the two outside turquoise threads so I've just popped them to the side and we're knotting grey over navy. We're knotting turquoise over white in a backwards knot. We're knotting the two navy threads together so it doesn't matter if it's a forwards or a backwards knot but I'm going to do a forwards knot. We're knotting turquoise over white in a forwards knot and we're knotting grey over navy in a forwards knot. Now I'm knotting grey over the outer turquoise in a backwards knot. I'm knotting the navy over the turquoise in a forwards knot. I'm knotting one of the middle navy over the white in a backwards knot. And the other navy over the other white in a forwards knot. And as we're mirroring, I'm going to be knotting the navy over the turquoise in a backwards knot and the grey over the outer turquoise in a forwards knot. So now we're not knotting with the grey threads, so I've just popped them off to the side. And we're knotting the two turquoise threads together. Then we're knotting the two navy threads together. Then the two white threads, the two navy, and the two turquoise. Now we are going to be knotting the grey over the turquoise in a forwards knot. We're knotting the navy over the turquoise in a backwards knot. We're knotting the other navy over the white in a forwards knot and then mirroring on this side so navy over white in a backwards knot, navy over turquoise in a forwards knot and then grey over turquoise in a backwards knot. Now I'm knotting the grey over the navy in a forwards knot, the turquoise over the white in a forwards knot. We're knotting the two centre navy threads together. We're knotting the turquoise over the white in a backwards knot and the grey over the navy in a backwards knot. Then we're knotting the turquoise over the navy in a forwards knot, the grey over the white in a forwards knot, the navy over the turquoise in a backwards knot, 
the other navy over the other turquoise in a forwards knot, the grey over the white in a backwards knot, and the turquoise over the navy in a backwards knot. Now the last row of this pattern is turquoise over white in a forwards knot, grey over navy in a forwards knot, knot the two turquoises together in the centre, grey over navy in a backwards knot, and turquoise over white in a backwards knot. Now your threads are back to where they were at the very beginning, so you just go all the way back to the beginning of this pattern and repeat. You keep repeating this pattern until your bracelet is long enough to fit around your wrist, and then I'll be back to show you how to attach the button. Quick disclaimer, I always automatically go to a meter for each of the threads that are needed and it's often too much as you can see here, it's far too much for the white but for the grey which is obviously this outside colour, it was not enough. So the last few, I mean I've managed it just but my threads are very short so for the grey I recommend going for a meter and a half for each string so three meters if you're doubling it up like I am um, but yes so now I'm going to attach my button there are many different ways that you can do this but I'm just going to use a technique that works for me And then pull those down or hold the ends and then pull the button down and now I'm just going to do some square knots I think using these two threads around the rest of these to bring them in together so if you want to learn how to do a square knot I will link you to a tutorial that I have on my channel that demonstrates how to do them Obviously if you do have more thread than I do with the grey then you can just tie a big overhand knot. That is obviously the easy way of doing it and the way I usually do it. But because I have so little grey thread left and it's all split and everything, it's not really an option for me. So I'm just going to do some square knots instead. So I've done about four square knots. You can just see them on the back of the button there, so they're not going to be shown. And then I'm going to trim off any excess and cover those knots in fabric glue, so they won't come undone. You can obviously always leave a tassel if you would prefer. That is also a okay to do. Don't worry if you have a lot of excess glue on your button, um, you can either take more care than I did with applying the glue, or you can just wait until the glue's dried and pick it all off because it's a fabric glue, therefore it won't stick too well to shiny surfaces such as a plastic button. And I use a lot of fabric glue. I don't, I've, I've spent a good two hours, if not longer, um, finishing this bracelet off, plus the time recording and everything so I don't want it to come undone. So you just leave your bracelet to dry until the glue is completely see-through and isn't at all tacky. I tend to leave it at least overnight. And here is the completed bracelet. It does look like so. Ta -da. 
And the annoying thing is, because I ran out of the grey, it's slightly too small to fit around my wrist. But that's fine. I have a friend who has a smaller wrist than me, so she will be receiving this. So here is the difference between them. I decided to do two completely different colours just to show off how they look. This one's a lot neater than this one though. This one's a very bobbly and I th it must have improved somehow. So now you know how easy it is to make this bracelet. The steps are relatively short. Um, it's just a bit confusing getting your head around forwards and backwards knots. So you'll be fine. If you need any help doing forwards or backwards knots, I actually explain it in a lot more detail in my Chevron Friendship Bracelet video, which I will pop a link to in the description box below as well. So you can follow that one and see how to do backwards and forwards knots and yes. If you make anything of your very own using one of my tutorials I would love to see a picture of it so please feel free to post a picture of it on Instagram and various other social media sites with the hashtag the corner of craft so I can check it out. I love seeing all your creations, what you've made and it's amazing how talented you all are. It really is. Like I say I am on various social media sites and the links to all of those will be in the description box below. I've started using Tumblr a lot more lately. It's nice. Don't forget to leave any requests for any tutorials in the comment section below or just tell me what you think of this as long as it's something nice, obviously. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and why not stick around? I post a new video here every Sunday and sometimes a bonus one in the week as well so I'd love to have you come and join the party that is the Corner of Craft. We have a lot of fun over here, we dance, we do things. So, you know, join the party. No judgement. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway when I hit 6,000 subscribers, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. So now you know how easy it is to make this bracelet. The steps are relatively short, um, it's just a bit confusing getting your head around forwards and backwards knots, so you'll be fine. If you need any help doing forwards or backwards knots, I actually explain it in a lot more detail in my Chevron Friendship Bracelet video, which I will pop a link to in the description box below as well, so you can follow that one and see how to do backwards and forwards knots, and yes. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway when I hit 6,000 subscribers, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Thank you once again for watching this tutorial, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you once again for watching this tutorial, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!